Nancy Singer is the director of Gear Up. Yes, yeah. the Tucson Gear Up project. And what can you tell us about how excited you are about this thing going on this afternoon? Well, this is a combination of our summer program that we had at Wakefield. 65 middle school students from the Sunnyside and TUSD School District have participated in this project. And they have learned mariachi music as well as math skills. And so this afternoon's performance is a combination of the four-week program. very excited to be out there and they've worked so hard. <laughs> the children have worked really hard and they've really worked on uh, improving their math skills. It's an opportunity for the parents to see what they've been doing. We've had a great um, participation on Friday afternoon concerts as well and so we are just thrilled to have everyone here this afternoon. Bueno, pienso que es una oportunidad súper buena para los niños, sí. para, para aprender cualquier tipo de actividad, sea musical o de la que sea. Sí. Y pienso que es bien importante que aprovechen el tiempo en, en actividades como estas y que la universidad les dé la oportunidad de aprovecharlas. I learned math and how to play the violin. And how to what? Play the violin. That's great. Did you know how to play the violin before? No, this is my first year. Excellent. Are you going to keep on studying? Yeah. I'm the beginner's violin teacher. Well, when we first heard about the program, we were told that the students would probably be, they use the term promise, promise kids, but then I came expecting kind of troublemakers, but no, it's not like that at all. They're really smart kids and they're really good kids and I know that they'll have a good future. Kids with a lot of promise. A lot of promise. That's where yeah, the promise comes from, you see. <laughs> um, that I never played the violin before and I learned how to play it. And it was fun because I get to meet new friends of another school. Oh, excellent. Super. So you think you're going to try this again in the future if they ever offer Yeah. It? Very good. Try to learn more about and you're going to keep school. practicing violin? Are you going to take lessons? Yeah. Try to take lessons. Excellent. Well, good luck. Well, uh, my name is Adam Romo. Um, I am from Tucson, Arizona. I am the musical director and curriculum writer for the Mariachi Summer Camp through the Gear Up Project here with the University of Arizona. Um, this summer we have done classes in mariachi training through, mu through, through mathematics. So we have taken uh, mathematical strands from the Arizona State strands and also from national standards and have accompanied those with mariachi music standards or just music standards through the band and orchestra programs uh, to create a curriculum that can teach students both mathematics through music. The Tucson Gear Up project is designed to increase the number of underrepresented students who are ready to enter and succeed in post-secondary education. There are three major components to our project. They include services to students with a focus on academic achievement, parent engagement, and curriculum development. The Math Through Mariachi program gave us the opportunity to integrate all three components. We had the opportunity to write a curriculum, to engage parents through performance and to provide services to students through the Math Through Mariachi program. Is it uh, difficult to make that transition from mariachi to mathematics? It's the, the point, is, I think the problem with it is that it's a literal change. It's not so much as something, you know that you're learning it, um, it's something that you don't actually think literally at the time, you're taking it in and you're learning it through music, so it's just a lot of visual ideas, not so much as, well, this is this and this is, you know, that is that. 
and taking it from that was difficult in the beginning to actually think of well how can I I know this now how can I write it down on paper and say this is how you're gonna learn it so it's taking it's taking music to a different level than I think how I was taught and as other people were taught so it was a new idea even for our instructors our instructors were, were surprised with this new concept of mathematics and music bringing teachers on board was very difficult just because right when you ask them well we're gonna be teaching mathematics and you know for a lot of teachers it becomes well you know well you know is that gonna be something I can do um, and then it comes down to having the experience with mathematics to be able to accomplish um, the lessons in music I know you have some young teachers there, like the, 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 the violin teachers and, and, the, and the, the guitar teachers. Are they also mathematics teachers, or did they have to learn a lot of mathematics to start the mm -hmm. program? When we had our training session, actually we had three instructors, uh, Crystal Garcia, uh, Mario Martinez, and Vanessa Arrevalo, who were all of, of 18 years of age. And uh, this concept, I mean, they all have higher, um, in high school they've taken higher level math. So that was a, a request that we asked, you know, that they had, if they were going to be at a younger age as instructors, we want to make sure they've already completed higher level math courses. So that way when they're teaching, they're able to, to um, gather the concepts and teach it to the students in a way that they can understand it. Um, and so, I mean, with, with those instructors, we had a training session where we actually taught them how to do the lessons. Uh, still, I mean, as being an instructor, as being a teacher in general, you can't really teach something the way someone wants it. It has to be done your own way. You have to have some interpretation of how to teach a lesson. So the teachers had to really understand them, and then in turn, they had to create their own way of teaching that lesson to the students. I did. Okay, yeah, I was, like I was explaining to her, the second example, the second measure, okay, starts with a dotted quarter note, okay, which is one and a half. So how many, how many notes in, in one, just one quarter note? Two, right? Two eight notes? How many eight notes? Two. We taught math lessons constructed around topics of fractions, function rules, graphs, data collection, probability, and algebraic equations. Because the program this summer was highly successful, the school districts, who are our partners, have asked us to continue to write this curriculum so that we can implement this program during the school year. Because it is our first year, I think it was actually gaining that comfort zone with the students. And they have gained more of an understanding for the mathematics concept and music. They, they've, um, they feel more accomplished, more confident about it. I think so in the future years, as these students progress through high school, they'll be able to work even more, we'll go into more difficult pro, um, problems in math that, will, that we can actually tie in with music. <laughs> About how many students went through the program this time? This summer we had 68 students. 68, attend. very good. And, so, and when you ended the program? At the end of the program, we still 68. Um, still 68. Excellent. We that's that's a very, so. yes. very good sign. You exactly. didn't lose any.